Neeraj uh, Jain, right. the India Country Director for PATH, with us at this stage. Um, thanks very much for being with us this evening. Now, everyone is waiting for the vaccine to come to, to, to save us, in a sense, return us to, to some sense of normalcy. Now, there are five vaccine candidates which are being tested in India, but uh, even then, many challenges remain in the process of distribution, assuming a few of them are accepted by the regulator. Now, you are working with the government on this, the process of getting the vaccine when it's ready to the people who need it all over the country, not just the metros. Uh, give us a sense of where you're at with that. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you for inviting me to this important conversation. So, you know, th this is a very, very complex issue. Because uh, firstly, there are five uh, which are being considered in India, but we're kind of looking at this as a global issue and really talking to global uh, manufacturers who are in multiple stages of different stages of trials. And uh, from those, uh, you know, we're still not sure what's going to hit us first and what kind, which vaccine will come. You know, there was a lot of excitement a few weeks ago about the Pfizer vaccine, but uh, temperature control and how cold chain is going to work is becoming a challenge. So a uh, few challenges I just wanted to uh, identify for the audience here. Uh, there's going to be uh, a challenge around uh, production capacity and how we, that's going to get divided between the different countries. We're not still sure what India will get. Once we know that, we would also have to figure out within India who gets priority and how do we make those priority lists. Um, already, you know, Luigi talked about the fact that our immunization system is built for uh, providing vaccines to small children and uh, pregnant mothers. So, you know, you're talking about a completely different audience. Uh, not sure how we are going to be able to bring them in. So the, those conversations are on. Within that also, you know, this is probably the first time where the demand for a vaccine will probably be much stronger than, a supply, than the supply that we have, at least to start with. So how are we going to balance all of these and move forward without actually creating some sort of perversion, ensuring that the logistics and the cold chain works, making sure that the people who have been identified as the front runners to get the vaccine or the rest, and uh, really ensure that, uh, you know, we are able to create the protection that we need. So, um, so lots to think about. Dukul Neeraji, how has the pandemic affected the health services? And you have talked about the vaccine, you want to know the vaccine, that we will get the first to the children, that we will get the first to How have the priorities changed? Uh, ji, uh priorities have changed uh, quite a lot, actually. Um, unfortunately, uh, when the pandemic hit, you know, every, the entire health services of the country came to a standstill. And our frontline workers, who are really the backbone of our system, just got involved with the COVID response. And frankly, we didn't even really know what we were trying to do apart from just responding to an emergency that uh, we were trying to still figure out. Usme hua ye hai ki jo immunization services, they came to a complete standstill. Bilkul sab kuch band ho gaya. Um, the risk with that is, and ye, ye, this, is, this is actually something to really think about. The risk is that jo, jab essential services band ho jati hai. The risk is that our uh, population, the children, the risk of them actually being harmed because of vaccine-preventable diseases like diarrhea, like pneumonia, uh, which is still killing about uh, almost half a million children. And you know, Pranay was talking about this just a little while ago, that COVID, we probably lost, uh, you know, uh, lost sight of that. So until the immunization services get online, until we are able to vaccinate every child, not just thinking about COVID, but the rest of the vaccines, uh, we've got a dangerous situation on our hand. And I really think that's something that we need to think about. Also, the chances of vaccine manufacturers shifting production to COVID vaccine, rather than continuing to produce the vaccines that our children need, is another worry that actually uh, stays at the top of my mind. नीरज बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद जुड़ने के लिए वाकई जैसे डॉक्टर रॉय ने शुरुआत में कहा था कि हमारे बच्चों के लिए एक वॉर लाइक सिचुएशन है तो हमें वाकई में उनको तवज्जो देनी है बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद नीरज